I want to say happy belated birthday to Oprah Winfrey, who turned 69 over the weekend. Now, here's the thing, Oprah looks good. She spent her birthday with J-Lo, with Jennifer Lopez and Kim Kardashian. And it was so great because J-Lo posted a picture of all three of them, Kim, Oprah, and J-Lo. Such a gorgeous picture. But when Kim, when Kim Kardashian posted a picture on her story, she cropped J-Lo out of the picture. <laughs> so fans, they accuse Kim Kardashian of being shady. And not, you know, but clap if you crop people out of your picture when you have a selfie or something. <laughs> you know, I just have to say, and you do it, John, People crop folks out of the picture all the time because they want it. You know, I crop people out of the picture. Be but you know what it does say is it says you're not important enough to be in the picture with me. It does say that because when I crop people out, I never wanted you in the picture in the first place. That's why I gotta crop you out. I hate it. And then people, when you want to be uncroppable, they get right in the middle. Because it's hard to crop them out. That's why I'm always on the end when I'm on the end, because I'm like, I am easily croppable. You can crop me out. But I'm telling you, you got Oprah. And I, I kind of understand Kim, because it's like, if you are with Oprah, I don't care if I'm with my mama. She getting cropped out of the picture. That's going to be me and Oprah. And I got to tell you, remember when Tammy Townsend from Queen Sugar was here? Oh, yeah. Tammy said that her mother took a picture with her and Oprah. She got a picture with her mother and her. And her mother said to her later, I, I didn't even want you in the picture. Yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> it was just supposed to be me and Oprah. And I understand that. I don't care who's standing with me. If you jump in my picture with Oprah, you getting cropped out. <laughs> But the thing about it was, then there was this picture. I was trying to figure out, like, what was the conversation with Oprah and Kim on one side and J-Lo on the other side? And I imagine it probably with Kim. She was like, Northwest did this, and North, Northwest, and Kanye, Kanye, Kanye. And Northwest did another TikTok. And then J-Lo probably was like, Ben, 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 Ben. And I know I'm right, because in this one picture, it looked like Oprah got so tired of them. Look, look at that picture. Cause you know, when you're talking to Oprah, Oprah on a whole different plane. I know what Ben, 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 Northwest, Northwest, Northwest. But she was probably like, if you're not saying anything about Oprah, if you're not saying anything about Deepak or Maya Angelou, just talk behind me, talk. Just talk behind me. Oprah on a whole nother level. So, but it looks like it was a lot of fun at the Anastasia dinner. And, um, you know, Oprah Winfrey, like, it was her birthday. And so she, I texted her for her birthday because I didn't know what to do. And I was so nervous. I didn't know what to text her. So I, I think I made a joke that Oprah may not have liked. So when I texted her, I said, happy birthday with a little smiley face. And she texts back, thank you very much. And I gotta talk like Oprah, thank you very much. I'm heading out of town on business. And so I stared at the phone, cause I'm like, okay, what do I say back? You know, when you got a new budding friendship, I'm like, what do I say back to Oprah? And so I didn't know what the appropriate tone would be and I'm a comic, so I texted back, uh, Oprah, I hope you are not doing shots on the plane when you go somewhere. <laughs> and then I put LOL. And so, and then it was nothing. It was nothing that came back. And, and, I, and I stared at it and I was like, okay, I think I'm supposed to stop, but I couldn't. I was like, I need Oprah to see that I'm funny, that I got conversation, but I don't know how to go deep on the level of energy and coming back to you. So I still, I texted one more time and I said, well, I said, Oprah, in honor of your birthday, I'm gonna do a shot of tequila for you. And then I put the LOL. I ain't heard from Oprah since. <laughs> So I don't, I, I, John, you know what? You think that was a too much? I, I, I don't know if Oprah liked it. May have been a little too much. You know what you should have texted her? Oprah, I hear you love bread. <laughs> she loves bread, Sherry. No, she wouldn't have texted you back neither. She wouldn't have texted you As long as you, you don't back. see the dot, dot, dots, and then they stop. I know, but I just feel like if, I, and I'm glad I didn't do that one, but I, I, I feel like, Maybe she don't want to talk to you. Like, I don't know. I think I might have messed it up with Oprah. She'll hit you back by the end of the week. 
You think she's got like a lot of texts coming Oprah through? Oprah busy. She be, yeah, I know she busy. But now, I'm, now because now I'm obsessed. Now I'm gonna be texting everything to Oprah. I'm gonna be like, girl, I did laundry today and I got, I done mixed up the clothes. Anyway, happy birthday, Oprah. We love you.